All right, you're gonna have to guess the pattern before we get to the answer, and that is corn, DJ and Chain, Plume Network, Proof of Play, Anime Chain. What do they have all in common? And that's they are all building on top of Arbitrum within the Arbitrum orbit. Now, if you want to know what that means and what is Arbitrum and what's going on in their ecosystem, you're going to want to stick around for this entire video because we're going to get into that. Now, this video is sponsored by Arbitrum, but hang on, hang on, I know, hang on. I don't take a lot of sponsorships and Arbitrum is one of the most trusted names in crypto. So it is an honor to create educational content with them. And I'm also going to show you some of the opportunities that they have on chain. So with that, let's dive in. Oh, and uh, one more favor. If you can click the link in the description, this is going to help Arbitrum show people actually watch this video and they looked into the Arbitrum ecosystem. This is going to help support this channel where I can continue making unsponsored, unbiased content. Now, this might seem a little biased because it is Arbitrum, but they are a trusted name in DeFi, and you'll see why. What is Arbitrum? Now, Arbitrum is a layer two blockchain. That just means there's Ethereum and the layer on top of that is Arbitrum. It makes Ethereum transactions faster and cheaper while still securing the transactions to Ethereum. So that's what we see here. Arbitrum rollup scale securely on Ethereum. Go on chain with Arbitrum's battle tested and market leading L2 technology. Now, that might sound confusing, but think about this. You have Ethereum, it's a blockchain, and you can do a lot of things there, but the most valuable thing is security because transactions on Ethereum are slow and expensive. Now, if we make another chain on top of that, where we can do all the transactions, those transactions can be cheap, and we still want the security of Ethereum, that is what a layer two blockchain and that is what Arbitrum is doing. Now, you might have heard that there are lots of layer two blockchains and that's true. But when it comes to Arbitrum, they aren't just a layer two blockchain. They are the service that makes it possible for other projects to launch their own layer two blockchain. So if you go into the portal by Arbitrum, link in the description as we went over earlier, you can see all the new chains that are launching or that have launched that are currently in mainnet that are using Arbitrum. And these are all within the Arbitrum orbit. That's what they call it. So we'll take a quick look at these. You can see some are in testnet, in development, mainnet, and it's going to be a variety of projects. And it also does create an opportunity if you want to be early, like Plume Network, currently in testnet. They do RWAs, that's real world assets, and it's pretty hyped up right now. So it might be something to get exposure to. And then you can see other projects in testnet too. So that does create opportunities if we want to be early. Now, why are all of these projects choosing Arbitrum to build on? Well, that's because if you build an Arbitrum chain, it's your chain, your rules, launch your own performance and custom chain on Arbitrum. So with that, that gets you effortless interoperability. That means your blockchain works with other blockchains, high performance, self-governed, and a custom stack. So they do give you a lot of different features that makes it easy for you or your company to launch a blockchain. Now there are two flavors of Arbitrum. Now that's Arbitrum one, and you might just see it as Arbitrum if you are using an exchange or something. Arbitrum one and Arbitrum are the same thing. Now the second flavor is Arbitrum Nova. This is another blockchain. So don't get it confused, but for the most part, you won't see this as often. Now, Arbitrum Nova is a smaller, lighter, faster blockchain for low risk transactions. Think gaming. Maybe you're playing a blockchain game and you're just doing small transactions. You're moving an item or something. Maybe you're doing a quest. Everything in that has a very low value, so it doesn't need the same level of security that you would get on Arbitrum 1. So that is the difference between Arbitrum Nova and Arbitrum 1. But if we go with the more sophisticated language, Arbitrum 1, the flagship L2 chain, is decentralized and permissionless, deriving security from Ethereum while leveling up what it can do. Basically, it's saying, hey, you're getting faster, cheaper transactions, but we're still securing all the transaction data to Ethereum, so you still get that security from Ethereum. 
while Arbitrum Nova is the flagship antitrust chain that leverages a data availability committee to securely scale. So that's just saying it's using a data availability committee to secure and verify those transactions instead of immediately securing it to Ethereum, which costs a lot more. Yeah, that, I think I did a pretty good job of explaining that in simple terms. If not, let me know in the comments. All right, we said Ethereum is faster and cheaper, and they have a Dune dashboard that they want me to share, and the numbers are pretty good. So if you used Arbitrum instead of Ethereum, you would have saved 426 ETH across all users, across all transactions in the last 24 hours, and the last seven days, almost 3,000 Ethereum, and since August 31st, 2022, almost 4 million ETH. So people are doing more transactions on Arbitrum than they are on Ethereum since it's cheaper. Now, if you want to get started with DeFi on Arbitrum, it does take some experience. You need to know how to set up a wallet. You need to set up funds for gas. And if you are going to use transactions on Arbitrum, you're going to need Ethereum for gas. You're going to need the Ethereum coin on the Arbitrum network. Now, this could change if you're using a different blockchain that is still in the Arbitrum orbit. But for the most part, if you're using Arbitrum, you do need Arbitrum ETH for gas. Now this can get confusing. We could do a tutorial in the future as we walk through all this stuff step by step. Now as for the Arbitrum token, that is Arbitrum's governance token. It is an ERC20 token, so it's using the same contract format as things you would see on Ethereum and other compatible blockchains. It is an ERC20 token native to the Arbitrum 1 chain. Now that just means Arbitrum is available on the Arbitrum blockchain. Owning ARB makes you a member of the Arbitrum DAO, and it allows you to participate in Arbitrum's on-chain governance. So there's going to be proposals, you can vote on things, it's pretty much running its own mini government. What can you do on Arbitrum? So there are so many things you can do on Arbitrum. We're not going to have time to get into everything. But at this site, at the Arbitrum portal, it's going to show you some ecosystem essentials, some trending projects, and most importantly, new projects. Now let's take a look at some DeFi, decentralized finance. These are financial products you can access from the comfort of your own wallet, you don't need to set up an account, you just need to connect your crypto wallet. And on Arbitrum, there are over 400 different projects. So going down the list, let's take a look at Camelot right at the beginning here. And you can see that it is the liquidity network, they have Quest. That's not helpful. Honestly, it is a decentralized exchange. You can swap any tokens on the provided networks. And you can see Arbitrum at the top, as well as other chains in Arbitrum's orbit. And you can also earn. So let's look at some of the earning campaigns. And you can see that the APR for some of these are very high, but maybe the time period for it isn't that long. So this does provide opportunities for you to earn more interest in some of the assets you may already own. Jumping back into the DeFi page, let's take a look at Ostium. Trade any strategy on any asset from indices and currencies to metals and crypto. So you can see here we can trade anything and access up to 200x leverage. That does provide us more investing power. So if we jump into it, we can trade different stocks and indices and, you know, the essential cryptocurrencies, the SPY, the Japanese markets. We can also invest in the foreign exchange markets, commodities like oil, copper, silver, and gold. Now, one of the more popular ones is Fluid. It is the next generation lending market with the highest LTVs, loan to value, and the lowest liquidation penalties in the industry. Basically, a lot of people trust this, and we can see why, because they are managing $1.7 billion in assets. So if we jump into Fluid and do some lending, you can see that the interest rates are not too bad. USDC 5% on ETH 1%, STETH 2.95%. Okay, not great. That's not where Fluid's power is. 
All the power comes from Fluid's multiply strategies. So you create a looped position, go long or short, against margin collateral with a single click. So that just means maybe you have a lending position, you borrow against your collateral, and then that collateral you now have, you lend again and borrow against and you are just looping. That is a looping strategy. And with that, you can see with stable coins, we can get 42% max leverage APY. So that is at max leverage. With ETH and the 20X multiplier, we can get about 27% in APY. And then as we go down the list, we can see the different products and the interest rates those provide. Now looking at some of the other sections, I think gaming is an interesting sector if you just want to get into on-chain gaming and look into those opportunities because I play some of these like Pirate Nation and Golden Tides and we can see what other games are building on top of Arbitrum or the Arbitrum ecosystem if that's just another blockchain that's using Arbitrum tech. So there are a lot of different games here and it's really hard to figure out what you might want to get into. Oh yeah, Symbiogenesis. This is a Square Enix global NFT collection. So think uh, Final Fantasy, that franchise, that is Square Enix. Then we have some more casual games here like Sanko Pets, Neuphoria, Open Coliseum. I'll be honest, I don't know all of these. There's a lot and that could be a future video where we deep dive into some of these games. What are some of the games that people are actually playing and do we like it? So at a glance, that is Arbitrum. It is a layer two blockchain, faster and cheaper transactions, and it's also the infrastructure to provide other blockchains the same tech as Arbitrum. So that's why they call it Arbitrum Orbit, because everything is in the same solar system, the same ecosystem, where all these chains can be interoperable with each other because they're all using the same technology. And that's what makes Arbitrum valuable, not just its tech, but the people building on top of it, the users using their applications, and more. So if you want a more involved DeFi tutorial or maybe some gaming stuff, let me know in the comments and click the link because that does support the channel. Just the link to the Arbitrum portal page and uh, engage with this video. Uh, that's comment like stuff like that. On the weekends, I do live streams. I answer everything very honestly. We go over tutorials. We uh, go over trending news and more. So be sure to hang out for one of those. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.